football game and very highly, highly, highly competitive. Um, and it, uh, it came down to uh, the razor thin margins of plays at the end of the game. And so um, they made some big plays and uh, we were unable. And so that's the difference. Um, uh, there's so many positives in this game, um, except the result, and you know some of the things that we that we didn't do well down the stretch. But uh, we'll learn and uh, and keep working on things and and get better. You talked about some of the things you didn't like about your late game offense Friday before this game today. Did you see some similar issues, different issues? What did you see cause you guys to kind of sputter in the last five minutes? Well, you know, New York made some some big shots and some big plays offensively. Um, I thought we were very unlucky on our challenge because you know Randall had his arm wrapped around our guy, and I don't, I I, I didn't didn't quite get what the explanation was. It didn't it didn't seem to make sense, but they they must have had a reason. Um, and then you know it it. Uh, it's just some minor things, you know. But right now, New York is as good as any team in the NBA, and um, you know, to be the, to go toe to toe, and you know, we had a six-point lead, and then they they hit. I think they hit two threes in the, in the last couple of minutes. Um, I don't remember the exact sequence. Um, very disappointing, you know. No question about that, but. Um, but we'll just, you know, we'll learn from it. You guys like to play fast and even kind of take pride in doing so. When it's late in a game like this and everything slows down and it's much more slower pace, can it be hard to have your guys adjust to the speed change in a game like that so quickly? Got to be aggressive. Um, and, you know, Brun Brunson's three in front of our bench where we showed and, and tried to get back. And, uh, and you know, Randall essentially, you know, screened out our guy who was recovering. That was a huge play. That has nothing to do with pace of the game. You know, that's just a defensive thing. And, uh, you know, uh, games do games do slow down, but our mentality has got to be to stay aggressive and to play with pace um, for a couple reasons, you know, to, to allow more time to make plays and to create situations for the defense. And... Um, and because it's the strength of ours. I talked to Tyrese after the game Friday night. He said that, you know, when you're a young team, the two things you got to prove are that you can come back when you fall behind and then you can hold a lead when um, when you have one. And he said, you know, obviously we've done a good job of, of coming back when you're falling behind, but not so much of holding leads. I guess what, what do you think uh, goes in, I guess, to a, a young team figuring out how to do that? Obviously, this isn't a big lead as you had on Friday, but what, what goes into it for a team to be able to learn to really, you know, have a lead late? Yeah, look, I mean, a lot of what you're talking about is just make or miss stuff, and we had some we had some really good looks. Uh, we had a couple that could have been better. Um, you know, the free throw line was a was a factor, um, and so you know it's just. But this is what you go through when you're building a foundation. You go through some tough, difficult learning situations, and that's that's what this is, and so. You know, we'll we'll just we'll just keep working on it. And I mean, this is as tough a week as you're going to get in the NBA, probably. You know, at Cleveland, New York at home, come you know coming in off a of six in a row and wiping out you know Chicago twice on their home floor. I mean, um, you know, Boston and then Miami. And so um, this is this is a great test for us, and we need to keep throwing this kind of effort out there. You know, when we played Miami last week, uh, we, we responded from a disappointing, um, poor effort against Brooklyn with a great effort that didn't, you know, result in a win. Um, you know, we we, uh, we hung with it and, and played hard and, and got to win the next game, you know, it's just against Golden State. And that's what we got to do. I mean, this this kind of approach and this kind of, concentration and commitment to each other and all that kind of stuff is 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 what it's about and this is the culture that we're building it's not i'm not using the excuse of a rebuild that's that's not what it is i mean this is just these are just realities and you know 
I've got to deal with them the right way too. You know, I got to see things as they are, not worse than they are. And then we've got to have a plan to make them better. And so that's what we'll do. What uh, just impressed you about Aaron tonight, especially the defense he gave on Randall? I think he had 11 in the first quarter, and I think he really slowed down after that. Just what do you think Aaron did well on both ends tonight? Yeah, I, look, Aaron had a had a great game. He had 23 and 10. You know, um, and in terms of a physical matchup, I don't know if you're going to find a more a more challenging one than than Randall over the last two weeks. So, um, thought he was just great. Just, just a great competitive spirit, great competitive effort, and um, and you know he he got the ball in the basket too. I mean he's you know nine for twelve with twenty three points. I mean he he was uh, he was he was tremendous. And this is one of the reasons that he's earned the opportunity to start is that you know for 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 this team and for his teammates you know he will run through a wall. You know he's just he that kind of a team guy and. Um, he gets really dialed into any kind of an individual challenge that you give him in a game.